Good morning. You can't see me. That's better, kind of. Um, right now it's 7.40 a.m. It's very dark outside. Q is hanging out over there. I'm getting up to go to the hospital. Um, they told me to get there pretty early because if I go later in the day then there's too many people there and it's kind of hard with the glucose test because they, they need to measure your blood at one hour after you drink the drink, two hours, and three hours. They also told me that they weren't going to like keep the needle in my arm, that they were going to re-stick me every time and I just think that that's a horrible, horrible idea because my veins are so bad and there's no way that they'll be able to get blood four times, like just on four consecutive sticks. like because they can only use my right arm because my left arm had lymph nodes taken out of it. And my right arm's always been the bad one anyway. But anyway, see what happens. Q, I'm gonna leave. I know it's not normal for me to leave this early. I've got a bag and in my bag I've got um, my phone. <laughs> And uh, right now, just a book and a water bottle. I'm gonna put my Nintendo Switch in there and also um, a snack for like if I'm starving right after. <laughs> Some peanut butter crackers or something. Um, but obviously I'm not supposed to be eating. I'm supposed to have fasted for eight hours and I haven't eaten anything since dinner last night. Does anyone else have this problem that I have? Where if you start a book, then you have to finish it. Like you get addicted to it. So it makes you not want to start a book because you have to know that you have like three days to be able to finish the whole book. I'm a really slow reader, so it takes me a while to finish a book. But like, I, I've had this problem for a long time because I cannot start a book and just be like, oh, I'm gonna read a chapter a day. Like it doesn't work that way, you know? Like I have to <laughs> read more than that because I want to know what happens. So I end up spending like most of the day reading the book and then I wasted the whole day, you know. All right, in the car, I have my GPS going. It says it's gonna take me 26 minutes to get to the hospital. It actually takes a lot shorter to get there um, if you want, but I have my GPS set to avoid highways because I don't like highways. Anyone see the Northern Lights? Apparently they were out for a little bit yesterday, right before the sunrise. I don't see them now, it's way too cloudy. Made it to the parking lot. Woohoo! It's 8.11 a.m. going in now. Okay, update. I came back to my car because it has the heated seat and I wanted it to be warmer. And I also feel horrible. <laughs> it's been about an hour and a half since I drank the drink. So I had the first blood draw, or I had the initial fasting blood draw, and then I had the first blood draw, and then in 30 minutes I have the second one, and then I have to wait another hour to get the third one. I feel like I want to throw up. Like I feel like if I threw up right now, then I would feel better. It just, who drinks 100 grams of sugar? That's just, ugh. How do they even know how your body is supposed to react to 100 grams of sugar? Nobody does that. Nobody's body is used to drinking 100 grams of sugar. It just feels disgusting. I had the lemon lime flavor this time instead of the orange. I think that the lemon lime flavor is better than the orange. I think the sourness of it makes it taste better because the drink is so sweet, but it's still horrible, especially when you keep having the taste in your mouth for three hours. Can't eat anything, so the only taste I have in my mouth is this disgusting 100 gram of sugar lemon lime drink. I'm complaining a lot, but it sucks. 
I don't have the needles stuck in me, so they have to redraw my blood every time. And they were able to get it both times so far, so hopefully I can get the last two times, but bruises are definitely starting to form. <laughs> I have two veins in my right arm that people usually use. I have one that's pretty small and one that's, I guess, bigger, but it, like, sometimes doesn't work as well. The small one, for the people who are really good at taking blood, they usually pick the small one and they take the blood from the small one and they get it and they do it, but the other people try to go for the bigger one and the bigger one just like sometimes works and sometimes doesn't and then there's other people that go for the small one and they just miss the small one completely because it's just small, I guess, but she's gone for the small one twice and she's gotten it both times, so I feel like she's pretty good at taking blood. And I don't know anything about taking blood. I'm not a nurse or anything. This is just in my experience with the many, many times I've gotten my blood taken. I have these peanut butter crackers that I'm going to eat like immediately after this test is over because I just need to put something else in my stomach. And then I'm probably gonna go to sleep because I just feel awful. And then, to make it worse, she said that I won't know, like, the results of anything. Um, that they're just going to send it to my doctor, and my doctor will tell me. So I have to, like, finish the whole test. Which, like, I know for this test, if you fail, like, two of the readings, then, like, you fail the whole test. So to me, it seems like they could get the readings one at a time, and if I, like, happen to fail both, then I wouldn't have to get the third one. And then I would just fail, but apparently I have to do the whole thing. Whatever. I don't know how this works. They probably have to send the blood somewhere. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but it's annoying. And I just want to go home and go to sleep and eat something and throw up. Also, I want you to see how creepy this is. This is a skeleton in the passenger seat of this car. Happy Halloween! Just did the two hour blood draw. The vein is slowing down. The blood was kind of like trickling out of it and it's bruised and it hurts. But hopefully we can use it one more time. I've had it before with this little vein where um, they, they start taking the blood and then it stops in the middle. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, it's done. This is probably going to develop in a 2A larger bruise. I mean, if they are going to stick me in the same place four times. <laughs> There's no way it won't be pretty bad by the end. Just have one more hour to wait. It's really like 50 minutes because finished that one a little bit later. I guess she took my blood around like 11.05 and I've been doing it like on the hour. So my next one will be at 12. Okay, I just finished the last blood draw and a new nurse did it this time. She did not want to go in the same vein because I guess she was worried about all the bruising. So she used the vein that they used two days ago when they did the one hour test and it took her a little while but she eventually got blood out of it so that was all good. Um, so I asked them if they had any of the results back and they did have the results back for like the initial blood reading and the one hour. So at the initial it was 79 and it's supposed to be between 70 and 100 so I passed the initial and then at the one hour it was 155 but I don't know what the range is supposed to be because it doesn't say that <laughs> but what I'm wondering is so when I did the one hour test my glucose was 175 after one hour with the 50 mil with the 50 gram drink and now it's 155 with the 100 gram drink what <laughs> How does that make sense? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just wait for my doctor to get the results. It's gonna work. It's cute. It's cute. So, I did not get a phone call yet. I did not get an email yet, actually. But I happened to go on and check the portal thingy. So, it says pregnancy reference ranges. Fasting should be under 95. So that's good because it was 79. The one hour should be under 180, which is good because mine was 155. And the two hour should be under 155 and it, mine was 128. And the three hour should be under 140 and mine was 94. So it looks like 
from these numbers that I passed. And I'm still confused about how my glucose was 175 after fasting for the one hour test. Maybe there's something to do with when you have more sugar, your body does stuff faster. I don't know. I was also getting off like a cold and stuff, so maybe my body wasn't like working properly two days ago. Um, you can kind of tell that my voice is still like a little weird, but like I'm way better now, so maybe that has to do with it. I have no idea. I'm confused. I think I was like looking it up and like 20% of people fail the one hour test. I'm gonna wait till the phone call, but looks like I do not have gestational diabetes, which is awesome because I did not want to have to worry about that. <laughs> I just didn't want it to affect the baby and everything, so I'm feeling pretty good. Just wanted to say that I just got the phone call and they officially called me and told me that I passed the glucose test, so woohoo. I'm in bed because I just still feel really sick after that test, even though I came home, I ate something, I just still kind of feel nauseous. It's a really gross drink and it's a lot of sugar, but yeah, that's it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Check out the rest of my channel, and subscribe if you want to. Yeah, that's all. Bye.